Uh, they're doing a great job, especially the last couple games, like Purdue, yeah. five-man front. So they, they're man up the whole game, and they dominated that game. So it's, it's very hard, because especially teams, Big Ten usually either odd front or even front, but Purdue's a five down the whole game, and that's just one of the hardest jobs to do is block man the whole game, and they dominated. And last game, uh, played a team with a great front. Uh, for the, they had great D linemen, um, and aggressive big backers that uh, ran fit real fast. The whole line dominate that as well, so it just makes my job so much easier. And, uh, I can play so much slower when my whole line is doing a great job up there, and they just they're doing their thing. Are we with just that new iPad technology that we all have access to this year? Has it helped at all in terms of diagnosing, like going back on the sidelines after a series and figuring out just you know what went right or what maybe something you know something's different, but just how different? Yeah, oh, no doubt, different. no doubt, because usually or like. Last year, like, my running back coach can come inside and like, ask me, like, what'd you see there? And I can tell him something. But, like, you're not really 100% knowing what's going on everywhere on the field when you're playing. So when you get down on a, when you get onto that sideline, you can see if I, what hole I missed or what technique I could have used blocking-wise. And except for waiting until after the game to just correct yourself, you can correct yourself right there and then on the field. So. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a specific example from this season that stands out to you about how, how it helped you? Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of examples, honestly. Uh, just like how stuff plays out as far as run game, like if they, if I'm running the mid zone and maybe it's a backside cut there and I just overran it a little bit in game, I might have been like, I think I've seen somebody falling off. When I get to the sideline, I'm like, oh no, I see them overflowing, I can cut it back, or just like just things like that. Tell me, you've had two games with a good amount of volume, your two biggest kind of games so far. Do you feel like your feel for the game gets better as the game goes on because of see what the defense gives you? Or how do you think kind of things go along as the game goes on to make you play better? I just feel like in general, like you just get more comfortable playing with the team. Uh, of course, I'm a transfer. I mean, that's just, from a get-go, I was comfortable playing with these guys. But it's just like as I get to play on my O-line every week, uh, see them dominate, how they dominate, and we just bounce off each other. It's just uh, we just get more. We just get in the rhythm, and I feel like as the season goes, our chemistry is getting better. Everything's just flowing together. When it comes to maybe in-season preparation, you know, when you're working practice, what's kind of the routine you guys have to make sure that kind of translates to practice? Uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays just our, our work days. We just make sure we practice like it's our game days. Uh, Sunday, Monday, and Thursday, lighter lighter days. So our focus is there. Uh, got to be focused, uh, tuned in. But Tuesday, Wednesdays our work days. Got to play like like it's Saturday. You guys have built up this two games of unbelievable momentum. How do you not let this down against Northwestern? Uh, just keep the same routine, man. Just come in, just like I said, Monday, Tuesday, like today, tomorrow, come in and work just like we did the last two weeks. I feel like we had our best practice the last two weeks. We had a great practice today. Just keep stacking the days and never get uh, never get comfortable and just always, uh, there's always room for improvement and just keep the keep it up here. And how hard will that be going into a place that, you know, that, you know they're, they're in, Transition obviously with the 12,000 seat place at Northwestern. Would that be tough for you guys to play at a smaller venue? I mean, most guys kind of get nervous when they, cause people say it's kind of hard to play in bigger places with, with bigger, with better fans, a lot of crowds. So I feel like it's different for everybody. Uh, me, I, I kind of block out the noise regardless. So I, I feel like it kind of be easier, kind of feel like practice. So just, there's not a lot of fans. I mean, it's a game day, it's going to always have pressure, but like, in, in the moment, it's not a lot of pressure because you're not in front of 80,000 people. But uh, it's different for everybody, I feel like. When, when you left Oklahoma, you, you mentioned you wanted to be a feature back. How good at these last two weeks just felt for you personally to kind of show the country what, what you're capable of? Um, it felt great. Uh, I knew coming in that it wasn't going to be easy. Uh, Coach Spalding, uh told me that I don't have to come in and earn it. Uh, and that's something that we uh, it worked out perfectly for me and him uh, over time. Uh, I just feel great. I'm in a great running back room with a great group of guys. Uh, they make everything fun, and it's just uh, I feel great being here. Going off of that, can you just explain kind of your progression this season and where your confidence is at right now? Uh, my confidence is is through the roof, especially with the guys I have in my room and the guys I got in front of me and my coach I got behind me. So it's just like if if I'm not playing up to par. Uh, which I plan on doing every game, but I know I have guys behind me that will play, that will get the job done necessarily. Not necessarily that I want that to happen, but I just know they have my back. Uh, I know my line has my back. I know my coach has my back. So every time I get on the sideline, my coach is criticizing me and 
pushed me to go harder and congratulated me for doing good. So it was just like I have the most support from him and my teammates, and it's just an amazing feeling. I know you weren't here last year, but you know, the game against Northwestern, which you mentioned, it was really the line of scrimmage where you lost it. Do you think that that's a bigger point of emphasis, you know, this week specifically, knowing how last year's game played out? I kind of feel like all year that kind of been our emphasis. Uh, Coming in and being physical, even from fall camp, uh, that was our emphasis of just dominating the line of scrimmage and being physical in the run game. Uh, especially my coach, my coach is a real intense guy. Uh, loves physicality and loves just dominating the other side. So it's, I, I feel like that's been the been the th uh, been the thing this whole season. Yeah, you've also been trying to use more pass play. Do you feel that the running backs are being you know, used a lot more in the receiving game, a little bit more downfield? We saw Kate get a couple of catches there. Oh, for sure. How do you kind of think that's impacting the offense as well? Uh, I, I think so, for sure, definitely, because we have a lot of tools. That just impacts the offense very well. It makes the defense on their toes a little bit. They got to switch things up because if we're pairing with linebackers, most linebackers can't cover too well. Some some can, some can move well, but it's kind of harder for linebackers to move, especially with guys, running backs that we have that can run the ball effectively and go on line. We think line up a receiver run effectively is like, it's hard because you're going to one, most teams probably want to add another smaller guy, like sub nickel package or something, so it just keep them on their toes. How have you seen Darren grow so far this season? Man, he's, a, he's been, when he got here, he was a great athlete. Uh, he's grown mentally a lot, though, uh, matured a lot since the time of being here. And, uh, man, he's just, he's just, he looks amazing. He's just keep growing mentally and learning from us, learning from Coach, learning from me, Yacht, Jackson, the older guy, Grove, and just taking everything in and just being a great teammate and just doing what he's supposed to do.